Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this presentation I will introduce you math instructions with Facilino. So this is the outline of the presentation. First I will describe the material that we will use for this presentation and also the work instructions. Then I will move on to the exercises. In particular we're going to see three specific exercises. One for computing the number of binary digits second one to compute it, the minimum and maximum values of an analog signal and then the last one uh, we're going to generate and plot a sinusoidal wave. So as usual this is the uh, board or the electronics that we will use for our exercises. It's the Buemos D1 R32 together with the Arduino multi-sensor shield. So these are the work instructions. Uh, the first one is a constant uh, number, we use it everywhere in many many instructions and we can introduce here uh, um, integral numbers but also decimal numbers. Here with this instruction we are doing arithmetic operations like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication and so on. With this instruction we can map, it's a linear scaling between different uh, values so it maps uh, whatever input we have here, usually in this case uh, for the ESP32 processor the input range will be from 0 to 495 which is the range of the ADC converter and then we map this analog signal into whatever value we want here, from 0 to whatever value we introduce here. Also here with this instruction we can compute the maximum or the minimum of two numbers and we return the corresponding result. This instruction, uh, it will generate a random number between two integral numbers and this last instruction will allow us to generate a sinusoidal wave so we have to specify the amplitude, we have to specify the frequency, that's the, the, uh, how many times uh, it's repeated uh, on every second, we have to uh, specify the phase which is the initial angle and the offset which is the mean value and the uh, current time. In addition, in addition to this we are going to use uh, for this presentation a text instruction in which we are going to create a text by joining elements and also we are going to measure the current uh, time of, the, uh, of our program with this instruction. So this is the first example in which what we try to do is to compute the number of binary digits so for that what we, going, what we are doing is generating 30 numbers, random numbers between 0 and 199 and here what we do is a, for a while loop in which we compute the number of digits by uh, increasing this variable here, base 2, uh, multiplying it each, on each iteration uh, by 2, so it, they are powers of 2 and on each iteration we increase the number of digits. After this condition is met then we exit and we can plot the number of digits. Then in this second example what we are, go what we are doing is we are computing the minimum and the maximum values that we have uh, introduced with uh, the analog uh, potentiometer uh, connected to pin A0 and uh, this will be measured during certain time of period which corresponds to the time when we press or switch, uh, we press the switch button D2. Okay, so here what we're doing is we're just simply uh, lighting on the LED connected to D12, so it's indicating it's measuring and then we are repeating this procedure, so what we're doing is uh, we're reading the analog signal, we map this value from 0 to 100 and we take always the minimum value of the existing or the previous minimum value and the, the new value we have measured and also the same thing for the maximum value. So we repeat this thing until we, or meanwhile, we, the, the, the switch is not pressed. So once we press the switch we exit this loop here and then we switch off the LED and then we print the results. And then finally in this example what we're doing is we are measuring uh, the time at the startup, so this is a variable we call it time zero, and then on each iteration we measure the current time 
relative to this uh, previous time, so we always measure the time and we get that time and we put it here as part of the arguments that we need to evaluate the sinusoidal wave. So here we are just simply uh, generating a sinusoidal wave with this amplitude, 1 hertz frequency and zero phase and zero offset and each time we execute this instruction we plot a new data so we will see the sinusoidal wave on the Arduino plotter. So in this presentation I have introduced you math instructions with Facilino. Thank you very much.